Hello, my most beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm being led to share with you a few short visions and dreams that I've had lately. Now, the first one of these is about giving. In this vision, I could see somebody giving something to someone, like a homeless person. Now, while they were still in the act of giving, I was able to see in the spirit and I saw a beautiful substance which was made of light departed from the giver's body and literally merged with a semi-transparent robe which was also made of light. When the substance which was made of light touched the robe, it then became brighter than it was before. I was aware that the robe belongs to the person that was giving. In yet another dream, I was in some top-secret underground facility, and I saw a baby being born with wings. In another dream, I saw this man, whose name is Raj Patel, and I was told he will be the Maitreya, which will be the false prophet who does his lying sign and wonders on behalf of the beast, the Antichrist. In some other dream, I saw the shape of a cross in the middle of what looked like a galaxy of stars. It looked just like this picture on the screen, except it filled the entire sky of the earth. And it was about as close to us as the moon is to the earth. You could see it from anywhere on earth. And it was moving closer to us. I knew that it was the sign of the Son of Man. I mean, we all knew that. In another dream, I was given a small scroll with ancient writings and symbols on it, and the Holy Spirit changed the symbols and made them understandable to me. The scroll stated that the earth will be destroyed in 2017 by tornadoes and earthquakes. There was also other information written on the scroll which I was not allowed to understand. Also, in this same dream, I saw some very big and powerful demons threatening to destroy the earth and all the people left in the tribulation. Our job was to gather all the remnant of God's people before the end. In another vision, I saw that the very moment the trumpet sounds, everything including all life, and even time itself will stop. And in another dream, I saw that the, the aurora borealis could be seen in every country, even in the Caribbean, and that was a sign before the worldwide shaking and earthquake. Now, this dream I've had more than once. I dreamt that I went outside and saw many moon-sized objects in the skies. I then called my niece and then showed them to her. We counted fifteen moons in all. They were all of different sizes and scattered all over the sky. It felt very weird in the dream, like it was also a sign of the end of the world. Now, I've had two dreams of Obama, President Obama, and I'll share only one. They were both clear and to the point. In one of the dream, it was as if the entire United States was on lockdown, and the people and families were all in prison cells. Now, I could see that there were prison cells on both sides of the building, and Obama and his wife was pacing the middle corridor with all, with all the keys for the cells on a large key ring in his hand. He looked very mean, and he was very careful watching so that no one could escape his prison. That was the end of that dream. In another vision, I was looking at the earth from the viewpoint of space, and I could see the moon about to hit the earth. It was so big that it looked like another planet in the sky. It filled the whole sky. I saw multitudes of people scattering like ants, trying to run away from the moon, which was falling on them. 
In this last vision, I was somewhere in heaven in the future, and I was with a group of friends, about twelve of us in all, in pairs of boys and girls. We seemed to look at the most, about eighteen years of age. We were all in glorified bodies. Everyone was talking and laughing and having a grand time. It was like high school reunion after a long summer, only ten times better. I remember quite clearly I was speaking with a very attractive young lady, which I believe to be my other half that completes me. She was everything that I dreamed of and way out of my league in terms of beauty. It was as if God saw the perfect girl that I always dreamed about in my heart and made her a reality. I will not share the details of her features, for that is personal. In the same vision, God the Father took us somewhere else, and he showed us the new earth that he had made for us. And each time that we saw a different part of it, we all fell down in unison and worshipped him. The beauty and colors of the new earth was overwhelming, to say the least. I thank you all for listening. The Lord bless and keep you. Love you always.